feeling about this match? I've had it since I walked in today. And there we go. Match underway. Congo just slapped Russell. Look at Russell, though. He's not afraid of this. Russell is, is a very fearless guy. I got to tell you. It's, he's almost scary at times with his, his confidence and his intensity. Off the rope, Russell just throwing huge clotheslines on a Congo. He knows he's got to do this early. He has to bring it early. Mike Russell in the corner. Shot to the face of Congo. Boots and punches. He knew he had to have this intensity. Obviously got to have it early because Congo is brutality personified. But right now, Russell's actually uh, bringing it to Congo. Nine. And the Big Ten's coming here in Brockton, Massachusetts. Bam! Congo looking dazed. I, you know, I talked about having a feeling about this match, but I didn't think Congo would be this staggered this early. Off the rope. Oh, Congo! He caught him with a splash! Unable to follow up with a cover, though, because every other piece of offense had come from the other side from Mike Russell. But now Congo trying to just tear apart the face of Russell. Referee screaming at him. He can't. I, I'm not so sure it's really easy to tell where Congo was going with that, with that, whether he was raking the eyes, the nose. You can't rip the guy's nose off. You can palm squeeze his head like that to stop the blood flow. Congo now, Mike Russell way up high in the center of the ring, down. And this is exactly what Russell didn't want to happen. One, two. He didn't want to be in this position. Marshall McNeil, always the X factor out here. You know, I'm surprised it's the first time we're seeing McNeil tonight. But he's always a factor as well. Look at the offense from Mike Russell, though. This is actually fairly impressive that he's been able to do this this early to Congo. Russell's nose is bright red, and Congo throw away slam. And Russell's leg snapped off the second rope. And that's how you pull a knee in MCL. Who knows what got jarred there. The wild throw from Congo. Big uppercut to the side of the head. Congo clobbering Russell. You can see Russell's face red from where Congo is just smashing his palm into the nose, trying to break the nose of Mike Russell. And Congo's going out of control here. Whoa, Mike, Mike Russell firing back. Firing back on, on Congo off the rope. Oh man, huge clothesline by Congo. Mike, you can see the, the red on Mike's face. And now Congo, I can't see from here. He's tearing apart his face, it seems like. Very dangerous place to be. Referee saying that Mike is not giving up yet, asking him. His hometown of Brockton, that's what Marshall McNeil is screaming about. Screaming for him to go ahead and give up. Huge jaw jacker by Mike. Russell. And now Russell catches Congo with a big boot. He saved himself from getting clotheslined over the top rope a second ago. Both men go down low, but Congo comes up with Mike Russell on top. Russell trying to fight his way out of it. Knee and Congo in the midsection. 
Repeated knees, now going to the second rope, trying to use the momentum. And Congo just, Congo just places him up on top. Mike Russell in a pretty precarious position right now. As I said, I had a funny feeling about this huge DDT. Takes Congo down. I had a strange feeling about this match earlier tonight. Mike Russell had an, an unbelievably competitive look on his face earlier today. When you, he go for the cover here, one, two. Congo gets out of it. He, Mike Russell knew what he was up against. And the, uh, the confidence and the determination turned into anger earlier today. And I asked him about Ma Marshall McNeil getting involved. And Mike Russell basically said to me, if, Ma if, if, Russell, if uh, McNeil wants to get involved, then he'd punch him right in the mouth. And now it seems like McNeil has distracted Russell a little bit. And now Congo trying to, trying to choke him out. Right in the center of the ring, he's got this locked in. Referee, that's it. That's it.